Hello, I'm Pastor Greg with Calvary Community Church, Matawan, Michigan. Welcome to our teaching ministry. Let's have a word of prayer. Father God, we'd ask that you would open up your hearts as we have a short teaching um, today and the next um, four Sundays for Advent from Isaiah 9. Open up our hearts to your word. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, I, we're, in, we're in the midst starting Sunday with Advent. Advent is the four weeks preceding Christmas. It's a time of preparing our hearts time of getting ready for the birth of the Christ child we celebrate on the 25th of December. It's interesting that, that the Old Testament prophet Isaiah, 700 plus years before the Messiah is born, Isaiah is living in a time of, of political turmoil. The northern, northern ten tribes have been carried off to captivity. The southern ten tribes are being attacked by King Shennacherib of Assyria. Um, King Ahaz of, of the southern two tribes, Judah, doesn't believe in God. He believes in all these other gods, but not the one true God. And Isaiah goes to him and says, hey, ask for a sign. Just be still and Yahweh God will save us. And, I, and the king, King Ahaz says, no, I'm not gonna ask for a sign. And we think, oh, he just sort of is trusting, but he's not really, he, he doesn't want Yahweh God to save them. He's looking to Egypt to be saved. He's looking to other kingdoms, other gods. And then Isaiah says these wonderful words out of Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. A virgin will be with child and give birth to a son, and you will call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God with us. That was the, son, uh, the sign to King Ahaz that Yahweh God would protect them from King Shennacherib of Assyria. And that took place. But that was also a foretelling of the Messiah that was to come. The Messiah. Two chapters later in, in chapter 9 of Isaiah, 9 verses um, 3 through 6 say this, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Consular. We're just going to look at those two names this week Sunday, and, and right now, just very briefly on this video, Sunday morning we get into it deeper at church, Wonderful Consular. The name Wonderful is interesting because Samson's mom and dad in the Old Testament, remember Samson's the strong man, he had the long hair, he was betrayed by Delilah. Well, Samson's dad, when he meets the angel, when the angel comes and says to his mom and dad, you're going to have a son and he's going to be a Nazarite. And, and Samson's dad says, what is your name to the angel? And he says, you, you can't know my name. My name is a mystery. In other words, it is a secret. That's the Hebrew mystery secret, but it's also wondrous, the wonderful. So the angel that comes to Samson's mom and dad says his name is mystery, a secret, wonderful. The, <laughs> the child that will be born for us, his name is wonderful. Wonderful. We know that the Messiah was called, was going to do signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. That's talked about a lot in the New Testament. It's talked about in the Old Testament. And Christ came and did signs and wonders. To, to be wonderful is to be extraordinary, to be great. The, the feeling of wonder, marvelous, extremely good, exciting, causing marvel. And we have these whole marvel movies. Friends, they're just made up movies. Jesus Christ is the marvel. He is the one who was born of the Virgin Mary. He is the marvel, the one who is wondrous and does wonderful things within our lives. But he's also the counselor. The counselor, he's the, he's the advocate for us. He is the one that supports us, guides us. Now, now I've been to counselors before and I have counseled lots of people and I myself have been counseled from people. We need each other to help guide and direct I don't know at all. So I reach out to somebody else who has been there. Friends, Christ has been there. Christ has been there. Christ is fully God, but also fully man. Born of the Virgin Mary, fully man, and yet fully God, fully divine. He is a listener, a counselor is a listener, a counselor is one who is a mentor to us, who is the advocate, the one who has walked our walk. Ha, ah, friends. During this time of season of Advent, I encourage you to open up your Bible, Isaiah 7 and then Isaiah 9. We're really looking at Isaiah 9, 9 verse 6. For unto us is born a child. 
the government would be on his shoulders and it would be called wonderful counselor. Christ is a wonder in my life. He is wonderful and he is also my counselor. The one I go to, I go to his word to get counsel. May you too go to his word, go to his body of believers to get counsel in your life. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you have a home church, I, am, I encourage you to go to your home church during the season of Advent. If you have no place of worship, you're welcome to come and join us here, Calvary Community Church. Thank you, and God bless.